Hi, my name is Dr. Stephen Vath. I am a board certified plastic surgeon. I practice primarily in Golden, Colorado. I'd like to discuss the mini facelift. The mini facelift often gives people the impression that it's mini. Well, that's understandable, that is in the name, but I wanna explain where the term mini comes from and what that actually means. People are happy to hear the word mini before any procedure because they feel like, oh, that means it must be less scar, less cost, less recovery. And everybody likes less scar, less cost, and less recovery. But on the flip side, people don't want a mini result, they want the best result they can get. Of course, natural. I assure you that I have never used the term mini facelift as a marketing term. I don't believe in that. I call things what they should be called from a medical standpoint. So let me go back into the history of this a little bit. In the late 90s, a little while before I started practice here in Colorado, there were multiple papers published out of NYU, NYU which basically identified that what we had been doing as a plastic surgery community for a long time was more than needed to be done to get the best result. In other words, a longer scar and more work done underneath for really no benefit aesthetically, both in the way things looked and the longevity of the, of the results. And it only increased recovery. Things were dialed back a little bit in the late 90s. People started realizing more wasn't always better. And that is very much true in plastic surgery. More is not always better. You wanna find a balance. You wanna do as much as you need to to get the best result, but not any more than that to create more recovery, more time in surgery, all the things that you don't wanna to have to deal with related to surgery. And so I really do believe they got it right. And I've been practicing since going into practice about 16 and a half years ago, uh, I've been doing the procedure very similar to what I still do now. Little subtle adjustments, of course, over time, but the human condition really hasn't changed. So the, our ability to alter and improve uh, facial aesthetics hasn't changed as much as people might think. But I've been doing this very similarly since these articles were published, representing the change, a big movement that happened, realizing that we can work through a shorter scar. So there is a shorter scar with a mini facelift. Instead of having the traditional scar that goes way up high into the hair here and back along the hairline here, what was recognized at that time is you could work through a shorter scar and a better placed scar at the hairline here that prevents the sideburn from moving up and prevents you from losing hair here, which actually makes you look older. So it's the last thing you'd want to do if you're doing a facelift. And it's inconspicuous. Scars at a mo one month after surgery, nobody even brings up their scars after surgery. That is the truth. So you go underneath the skin. Then what's done underneath the skin is a little different too based upon the mini facelift articles that were published back then. And that is that we don't need to go underneath that layer and separate that independently and those nerves are under that layer, we can actually do what's called plicating it or tightening that layer and get an equal result, safer and easier to do. All facelifts are to tighten the jawline and the neck. There's no such thing as a full facelift that, that does anything up here because that's a brow lift and eyelids. A mini facelift is done through a shorter scar. Yes, that is true. But all the work underneath is done just as much as they would be done in any full or traditional or standard facelift. We've just changed the techniques a little bit over the last 20 years. As far as the results are concerned, this has been pretty well studied. If someone came to me and said, I want to spend the most money, I want to have the hardest recovery, and I want the surgery to be the longest it can be to get the best result. I would do what I do as a mini facelift and have been doing for years. Please understand that, understand uh, some of the misconceptions that come from that term, but it is a legitimate term uh, based on less scarring and some changes, uh, adaptations to the way the procedure is done underneath the skin. And you can have a nice neck and a nice jawline with a surgery that takes somewhere between two and two and a half hours to do, and there's no need to do anymore. Thank you for listening to this little spiel on mini facelifts. And if you would like a consultation about this, uh, please feel free to call and come on in.